Hello students, Deepak Pandey here and this is the fifth episode of Breaking Gate 2020 in 45 days. In this episode, I'm going to discuss three problems from process calculation based on the concepts or whatever concepts we have discussed so far. So these problems are going to make the concepts more clear and you'll be able to solve the problems, the similar kind of problems based on these concepts in the upcoming exam in 2020. So the problem says the following combustion reaction occurs when methane is burned. The reaction is given, both the reactions are given, uh, the complete as well as partial combustion. 20% excess air is supplied to the combustor. The conversion of the methane is 80%. Molar ratio of carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide in the flue gas is 1 is to 3. Air is having 80 mole percent nitrogen and rest oxygen. What is the O2 consumed as a percentage of O2 entering the combustor? Fine. So first of all, you have to look for the basis here. Where is the basis? Is basis given in the problem as you see the problem there is no basis here but as I've discussed in the previous episodes that they are asking a ratio right a ratio of two things multiplied by 100 fine and ratio is always independent of basis so it means you have to assume a basis so let me draw the figure first figure is very important in process calculation problems suppose this is the reactor and you are having feed which is only CH4, air is entering which contains 0.2 oxygen and 0.8 nitrogen. Now the product is leaving from here. So where is the basis? Of course in the product you will be having some moles of carbon dioxide, some moles of carbon monoxide, uh, some remaining CH4 which is not reacted because 100% conversion is not taking place, uh, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. Most of the students forget to write nitrogen. Nitrogen is important, so don't forget to write it. Now, in this problem, where you can select basis? Can you select the basis of this product? Can you say that let's take basis of 100 mole products? No, the problem may become complex and most of the time you will not be able to solve the problem because the composition is not known. Here the composition is known, you can select a basis. Here the composition is known, you can select a basis. So let me take basis CH4 is equal to 100 mole. Fine. Now if you see the reaction here, that is CH4 plus twice oxygen gives you carbon dioxide plus twice water, right? And then twice CH4 or you can write this as CH4 plus 3 by 2O2 gives you carbon monoxide plus twice H2O. Right? In the question, they have just multiplied this uh, reaction by 2, the second reaction. Now, suppose you were having 100 mole of CH4. Out of that 100 mole, how many moles are going to react? Only 80, because 80% is the conversion. Rest CH4 is present here. This is the 20. Now, out of 80, suppose X moles are going here, and therefore 80 minus X are reacting by this reaction. Okay? Now, if X moles are reacting, this is x, this is 80 minus x, fine. How many moles of oxygen should react with x moles of CH4? 2x. So how many moles of carbon dioxide should be formed? x, right? This is 80 minus x. So how many moles of oxygen should react? 3 by 2 into 80 minus x, right? How many moles of carbon monoxide should be formed? That should be 80 minus x. Getting my point? Now what is given in the problem, the ratio of these two, read the statement, molar ratio of carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide means 80 minus x divided by x, that is carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide and that is equal to 1 is to 3, from here you can find the value of x, so calculate the value of x, you are going to find that x is equal to 60. Now as x is equal to 60, what is the O2 which is reacting here? O2 reacted. What is O2 reacted? The O2 which is reacting by this reaction plus the O2 which is reacting by this reaction. What is that? 2x that is 2 into 60 plus 3 by 2 into 80 minus 60 that is 20 which makes it 10, 30 and 30 plus 120 which is 150. So this is how you can easily calculate what is the O2 reacted, <coughs> right? Now what is O2 fed? As you have, I have discussed in the previous lecture, you must have followed the lectures. If you don't know how to use the percent excess, please go through the previous lecture. As I have discussed in the previous lectures that percent excess information is only used to calculate the oxygen fed or air fed. So if 20% excess air is used, what is the amount of limiting reactant? 100. Can you write the O2 theoretical here? 
Now, what is O2 theoretical? Don't say that O2 theoretical is 80 into 2, 160. Don't say that O2 theoretical is 150. Don't say that O2 is 2x or 3 by 2 into 80 minus x. All these uh, answers for O2 theoretical are wrong answers. What is the correct answer? Simply 100 into 2. Forget this reaction, assume 100% conversion. So, what is O2 theoretical? 200. What is O2 fed? That is 200 multiplied by 1.2 this short method I explained in the previous lecture is which makes it uh, 240 now O2 reacted and O2 fed both are known so what has been asked in the problem 150 divided by 240 fine multiplied by 100 O2 reacted by O2 fed as a percentage fine the answer should be 62.5 percent So I hope the problem is clear. This is just one method of solving the problem. You can also start solving the problem by assuming one mole of carbon monoxide and three mole of carbon dioxide and then proceed backwards. That is also a method of solving the problem, right? The same problem can also be solved by the concept of atomic balance, but I have not yet explained atomic balance. So you can follow the stoichiometry for solving the problem. Let me discuss the second problem now. The second problem is again from gate. Air composition is given 79 and 21 is passed over a catalyst at high temperature. Oxygen completely reacts with nitrogen. The reactions are given. The molar ratio of nitrogen or NO that is called nitric oxide to nitrous oxide in product stream is 2 is to 1. What is the fractional conversion of nitrogen? Now in most of the problems where there is a chemical reaction, nitrogen is considered as inert and you must consider nitrogen as inert component, non-reacting component unless a reaction of nitrogen is provided in the question. If you say this question, nitrogen is reacting with oxygen, of course high temperatures are required so that condition is mentioned. So high temperature is mentioned or not mentioned. But if a reaction of nitrogen is mentioned in the problem, it means that you cannot consider nitrogen as inert. Second thing, again in this problem, think about the basis, whether basis is given or not given. Of course, basis is required, right? Now, what you have to find here, see, the conversion. Now, what is conversion? Is it a ratio or is it some flow rate or amount? You must know that conversion is a ratio, fine? Now, ratio is always independent of basis. So, whatever basis you assume, you are going to get the same ratio. So, here also, you have to assume some basis. Now, the reactions are given here. What should be your basis? Oxygen should be your basis. Nitrogen should be your basis. And in this problem as well, like the previous problem, it is written air and air means both the components. So air composition is known. Fine. So can you take air as basis? Definitely yes. Can you take oxygen as basis? Yes. Nitrogen as basis. Nitrogen composition is also known. Nitrogen is only nitrogen. You can take nitrogen as your basis. Fine. So, it, it is given that the conversion of oxygen is 100% and the molar ratio of this to this in product is 2 is to 1. So, from where to start? And can you tell me, can you guess that which one is the limiting reactant here? Okay, I guess, uh, I think you are able to uh, make a correct guess that oxygen is the limiting reactant. It is reacting completely and they are asking us the conversion of nitrogen. Nitrogen is not reacting 100%. Oxygen is reacting 100%. So, oxygen must be the limiting reactant. So, you should solve all the problems, all the stoichiometric calculation with respect to the oxygen. So, let me take a basis here. Suppose, I am taking basis of air. Air is Air is eligible for uh, being a basis because the composition of air is known. So, suppose we have 100 mole, fine. Out of 100 mole, what is nitrogen? 79 mole nitrogen and 21 mole oxygen, fine. Now, because the conversion of oxygen is known to you, you can start solving the problem with oxygen, not with nitrogen. Suppose you start problem the, uh, solving the problem the, uh, by this nitrogen, right? Now, nitrogen, you are having 79 moles. But how many moles of them are reacting? We don't know. So, the problem solving becomes difficult if you start solving it with the help of nitrogen, if you initiate it with the help of nitrogen. But you, if you solve this problem with the help of oxygen, then definitely you know the conversion. So, how many moles of oxygen you have? 21. How many moles of oxygen are reacting completely? So, suppose x is reacting here and 21 minus x is reacting here. Is it okay? Now, see this. For 
0.5 mole of oxygen, 0.5 mole of nitrogen is required. If x mole of oxygen is reacting, how many moles of nitrogen should react? x. In this equation, for 1 mole of oxygen, 0.5 mole of nitrogen is required. If 21 minus x mole of oxygen is reacting, then how many moles of nitrogen should react? 21 minus x by 2. Right? If 0.5 mole of oxygen is present reacting, then how many moles of nitric oxide is formed? 1. For x mole of oxygen, how many moles of nitric oxide should be formed? 2x. Oxygen is a limiting reactant, so all the calculations should be done on this basis. Now, for 21 minus x, for 1 mole, 1 mole is being generated, so this should be 21 minus x. What is given in the problem? The ratio of NO to NO2. So, 2x by 21 minus x is equal to 2 is to 1. From here, you can calculate the value of x. Please do the calculations. So, x is equal to 10.5. Right? If x is 10.5, you can always calculate what is the value of nitrogen reacted. So, what is N2 reacted? x from this reaction and 21 minus x by 2 from this reaction. So, 10.5 plus 21 minus 10.5 which is again 10.5 divided by 2 right so what is this value 10.5 plus 10.5 by 2 that becomes 5.25 which is equal to 15.75 right now that is the nitrogen reacted what is the fraction conversion what was the nitrogen fed that was 79 so 15.75 divided by 79 so solve this and please note that the question is asking fraction conversion so no need to multiply it by 100 okay i hope you can solve this and the value is equal to 0.2 approximately right so that was the second problem which uses the concept of material balance on single unit with chemical reaction and the previous problem also explained the concept of how to use the percent excess in a given problem. So I hope these two problems that I have selected here helps you to understand clearly how to solve, how to attempt these problems where percent excess is given, where conversion is given, where side reaction is also taking place. So I hope you'll be able to solve all these problems. So in the upcoming episode, I'm going to discuss a recycle and purging that is when there is a reactor as well as a separator and then there is a recycle stream and upper stream. So keep following the channel and keep following the lectures. Thank you.